breaking Illini news. We are staying on late to record this one, Cart. Sincere Harris is in the transfer portal. I think maybe two weeks ago, this would have been completely unexpected. And then we get the news that Chester Frazier is leaving Illinois to join the staff at West Virginia. Since that news dropped, it's been, I think, pretty loud rumblings that this would follow. And this might not be the only one to follow. I don't want to... I want to speculate this video is about sincere, but I don't think we would be shocked if other things happened after this Um, sincere, you know, his story by now, he was a top hundred kid uh, out of high school. He was 88th, according to basketball references uh, like RSCI top hundred in 2022. He had a good freshman season. I thought started seven games, 14 minutes a game. He was very clearly like an impact defender for Illinois. Again, that was the Matthew Meyer kind of crazy all over the place team. But um, in a freshman class alongside Scott Clark and Jaden Epps, I thought Sincere Harris arguably had the best bright spot moments on that team of the freshmen. You liked and believed in him as a program guy for the future. Then we get to the sophomore year and like the first week of the season, he announces that he's going to redshirt. We did a video about it at the time and People were kind of all over us for just like alluding to this is some real housewives of champagne shit. What's going on here? And uh, in hindsight, Sincere was just a really unselfish teammate. I think he looked at that roster and was like, I'm not going to play much. And that's okay. And he he was locked in on the bench. You could see him all year. I think he still helped the program even uh, if he wasn't playing in the games necessarily. But With that said, when a guy opts out of an entire season, usually that would indicate he thinks he could play elsewhere in the future. Um, Whether or not Chester left, I think this was always a distinct outcome that could have happened. Chester leaving made it immediately obvious Sincere was going to follow him. That's his guy. Chester's the lead recruiter who got him to Illinois in the first place. So uh, I guess, are you surprised by this? Do you think looking back on the last year, like red shirting into this, is this how sincere it was this what's best for sincere Harris? I think this is what is best for sincere Harris because, you know, unfortunately for a player like sincere Harris, who I consider like a program guy, right? Uh, I think he's a program guy. He's a great vibes guy. I think defensively he can be a menace. He can change games defensively. We saw him do that. Uh, one of the I think back to the game he had his freshman year at I think it was at Mackey. He was like one of the main cogs of like them pressing and turning Purdue over and making plays. And he had some really good games uh, his freshman season. And there's probably a step for him to take offensively. Obviously, I don't even know if he'll ever take that. If he doesn't, it's OK, because I think he can just be a guy who's a change of pace program guy, checks really hard, uh, that type of that type of guy. I think that Illinois isn't the right program for him. Like Illinois doesn't really have program guys, I guess I would say. I don't mean that like negatively, but like if you put Sincere Harris on, let's say a Purdue, I think he's beloved. He plays. He's like a better version of Ethan Morton kind of if he accepts that kind of role. Uh, I just don't see that type of role being prevalent for this Illinois team with how they operate. You know what I'm saying? Like they're, there's turnover. They're going out and getting guys in the portal. You're going to constantly probably get guys put over you. And, and especially if you're a program guy, like I think he is, that could probably take an effect on him. I mean, he, and he probably wants to play. So I think it's good for both parties. I don't think it's like a bad blood or anything like that. Um, it, it honestly makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, I You make one point there that's interesting. In general, the way Brad is going to run things is always going to lead to a lot of being recruited over. And that's that's an interesting thing to me because, like, you look at the young guys on this team just projecting for next year, right? Dre Gibbs Lawhorn, Ty Rogers, I would still consider a young guy. Uh, Monty Hansberry, am I missing anybody? Like, that's really it now outside of Sincere, right? Yeah. I think you could point at all three and say they're all going to get recruited over. Uh, well, there's already members at Hansberry might be leaving. Right. So, like, it's it, it's okay. That doesn't, like, prevent you from winning at all. It doesn't. Um, but I think it's a thing Illinois is going to have to deal with long term, and it already cost you the quote-unquote toxic guys in Jaden Epps and Scott Clark. Now it's costing you, like, a beloved program guy. 
And I, I don't want to overreact to it because, like, this is clearly a direct result to Chester Frazier leaving. Maybe this is singular and it won't happen again because you're not going to have staff turnover constantly. But my read on this is the reason Chester Frazier's leaving is a lot of the guys he played lead recruiter on, Brad's recruiting over. Like, oh, they, they got to Illinois, put on an Illinois uniform, and weren't good enough for Brad Underwood. So, yeah, Chester, you can go. I'm going to go get somebody else. And you can take your guys with you. I'm going to get some other guys. And I give Brad credit for that because I think it's a cutthroat move, and I think it's something that championship programs do. Right. If you identify something you think is a weakness that's preventing you from winning championships, you upgrade it. That's yeah. what, to me, that's what Brad's doing here. Um, but I do think it's it's something a little bit bigger than just sincere here of like, OK, is is Brad about to go try and get someone to play over Ty Rogers next? I would. Is, is he about to go get someone to play over DGL? He just got Kyle and Boswell. I don't think that's the last backcourt ad he's going for. Dante Maddox is trying to come to Illinois. They're trying to get him. So at a certain point, if you do that every single summer, don't you develop a reputation and there's consequences and you don't have any more program guys to look around at? Yeah, and when you're trying to pitch the kids that you want to come here, one of the main pitches I think that a lot of freshmen probably do look at or a good amount of is some level of continuity. Like there's like some level of comfortability, continuity, year to year what it's going to be they probably find some like some solace in that. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing that Illinois doesn't have that. Like that's the state of college basketball. There's rarely any continuity anywhere anymore. Uh, but having that is a, is something that I think recruits might look for. And I think it might cost them some people. And that's fine too, by the way, like they will, I, Illinois has a different way of doing things. And honestly, I like the way they're doing things. They're, they, they're going out and getting better players in their eye. Like, I'm not going to down them for going out and getting better players. And if that comes at the cost of players who aren't as good, then it is what it is. Uh, I'm sure Sincere wanted to stick around, he could have. And whatever his role might have ended up being from that point. Ah, are we sure on that point? Oh, you think? Oh, you think they're kind of booting him out? I should probably be careful on this, shouldn't I? I don't know. I I haven't heard to know the truth. This is all me speculating. I don't think I'm as confident as you are that like, oh, if Sincere wanted to stick around, he could. I don't know that that's my read. You think it was some conversation like, hey, you might want to look elsewhere? I mean, I think it was, hey, Chester, you're gone. Like, or or not even you're gone, but probably just some mutual responsibility conversations of like, Hey, it's time to part ways. And Chester's like, okay, I got West Virginia on the table. Okay. I'm sure Chester's been talking to Sincere all along, but like, I don't know. I just think like, I I, I don't think there was a world where Sincere was going to come back once the Chester news dropped. And in general, I don't think Brad would want him back after the Chester news dropped, right? Like this is a very mutual parting of ways. Yeah, I agree. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, also like, I think a little change of scenery. Honestly, I was I wouldn't even think like Big Twelve is the place Sincere should go. I thought Sincere should go down a level. Oh, really? Be like a star for a mid major? Yeah, like go play for Akron or something. I don't like that. Um, I was gonna give you a couple names. So schools that recruited him that were like his final list that he had offers from when he committed to Illinois. Uh, he had offers from Hampton. He had offers from Maryland and he had offers from Xavier. So I would like pull out Maryland and Xavier as teams. I think he could go help right now. Uh, he is an Ohio kid. So in that sense, Xavier could make some sense. Uh, I will add one that I I don't know if he's ever been recruited from. I don't see anything listed, but uh, I think he would help Ohio state right now. hundred percent an Ohio state team that just brought in Michi, another offensive minded guy. You're looking at a Bruce Thornton Michi backcourt. That's very offensive minded. There's a gap at the three. I think Ohio state could use like a perimeter defensive oriented guy who doesn't need shots. I think he would really help them. Great. Another downgrade for my Buckeyes. I don't think that's a downgrade. I think he would help them. Um, West Virginia is the obvious one, right? Does he just immediately commit with Chester? Hundred percent. Did the, I? I did not get a chance to watch West Virginia at all. Do they still press? 
I don't know. I don't know. If press Virginia is a thing, then send Harris there, start him, and let him just get after it. Just let the kid rock. Just let him press. Press Virginia. Okay. <laughs> uh, sincere. Good luck, my friend. It was a pleasure watching you for Daddy Brad these last couple of years. We sincerely wish you the best. Great teammate, sincere. Like if there's a sincere Harris teammate award in the future. I think that would, that'd be fitting. If you've been watching our videos this season, you know that we are presented by my bookie Carter. Tell the people about my bookie. My bookie is the official sports book of sleepers media. They have everything you need from expert predictions, write-ups. I mean, any, any, any way you want to bet my bookie makes it easy for you to play your way and get paid. And right now, Gregory, we have an instant deposit bonus up to $1,000. All you have to do is use promo code sleepers. That's promo code sleepers. Take advantage of this great offer today and everything that my bookie has to offer. Yeah, the NCAA tournament may be over. The madness, maybe it's put to bed for a little bit. But college basketball is still rocking. It's transfer portal season. NBA playoffs are coming soon. There's still a ton to bet on, and you should bet with us at MyBookie. The link is in the description of this video. Use promo code SLEEPERS.